Hello friends, in this video I am going to talk about how to enable post formats in some WordPress themes. Why I am saying some because in many themes formats, post formats are already supported. Those who do not know what is post format, let me just show you an example. So this that you are seeing on the screen right now is a fresh WordPress installation and by default WordPress theme 2023 is installed. So I will just show you. See, if I go to themes, you can see 2023 is enabled. Now I am just trying to create a post. Let me just refresh this page. This is nothing but a post creation page. You can see there is no option for post format. Previously, if you remember, by default, post format was supported by 2022 as well as 2021. So what I'm going to do right now, I will just enable this 2021. I will activate this theme. And now when this theme is activated, I will refresh this add new post page and you have to focus here. So I'm refreshing this page. And now when this page is refreshed, you can see something has changed. That means 2021 theme is now enabled. You can now see this post format. It is clearly visible. Isn't it? So it shows you post formats like aside, audio, chat, gallery, image, link, quote, and many others. This feature has been removed from 2023. Let's now switch to 2022 theme. Let's see if it has this enabled or not. And again, I will refresh this page. When I'm refreshing, you can see in 2022 also post formats are not supported but you can enable that option. So I am talking about this problem because many people have contacted me. They are changing their existing theme just because post formats are not enabled. And for some of you, those who are still unable to find out why it is important, it's important because nowadays Elementor, if you look at this Elementor screen, Elementor allow you to display a particular template based on the form. So what I can do, I can create a separate archive template for video post, a separate archive template for audio post, a separate archive template for standard post. So this is why it has become important and it shows all the formats that your theme is supporting. So if your theme is not supporting any format, then you cannot actually create a different type of template based on the format of the post. This is why it is important. So in order to do so, what you have to do, you have to simply go to the theme editor of your file. If you know, there is a function.php file in your theme that you can modify. You can add some functionality to your existing theme. So here right now, 2022 is enabled and I will go to tools and there is theme file editor. In many themes, you will find theme file editor in this menu itself. But here it is available in theme file editor or let's just simply click on editor if it's taking us there. No, it's not taking us there. So I will go to tools and I will click on theme file editor. From this screen, I can go to functions.php file. And here I can add a custom code that will enable the post formats. So those who are afraid of coding, please don't be, it's very simple. I will give you the code and you simply paste it at the end of this functions.php file. So I will copy the code and I am now going to paste it here at the end. So this is the code. This code is adding a theme support of post formats. And what type of content, what type of post formats? These are the post formats which are listed here. Aside, image, video, quote, link, gallery, status. So what if you don't want a format for let us say audio, then you simply remove this part till comma. We will do it, don't worry. So this is how you will add this and don't forget to put this last line. So this is the code that I will provide you in the description of this video. So let's now click on update file. So I just updated the file function.php of 
2022 theme and this post which we were editing till now was not showing post format but when i refresh it now you can see post formats are visible you see this was not visible till now so post formats are visible in all the post formats which we wanted like aside audio chat gallery image all are available let us say i do not understand the meaning of aside so i don't want it so how to remove it it's very easy simply edit this particular line you have to simply edit this line nothing else and i don't want aside so what i will do i will remove aside and obviously then comma is unnecessary i will remove comma as well and space as well so this is how it is done so i'll change if there is no error in my file then it will say that file edited successfully and now if i refresh this page then it will show the post format there is no problem see post formats are visible but it will not display a side because we just deleted that so for some themes if you simply want videos then just keep the video remove everything else correct so now you understood how you can do it for a particular theme let's now take an example of another theme so i am going to appearance and theme and now i am selecting theme 2023 which is by default available in wordpress new wordpress so when i selected 2023 and i refresh this page then obviously again post formats are gone they are not visible any longer now i want to enable it so you know what we have to do we have to edit functions.php file so let's do it for this theme as well for that we'll go to tools and we will click on theme file editor here in this section you cannot find functions.php file because 2023 do not have it by default but that should not stop your work there are many themes that do not support function.php file by default what you have to do you have to go to the file editor of your theme you can access by iftp or you can do via cpanel or there are many uh, hosting provider will provide you different ways to edit your files and i am in wp content themes folder of my website here i will go to 2023 but before i go to 2023 let's go to 2021 If I go to 2021, you will see that functions.php is there, correct? But if I go to 2023, you cannot find this functions.php file. Then what to do? You have to worry for nothing. What you have to do? Simply click on new file. Basically, you have to create a new file. It depends on what editor you are using. Then I will create functions.php. Please remember the name. It's it's not function.php. it's functions.php okay then create the file once your file is created obviously it's empty you have to write this line here it indicates that this is a php file and finally you paste the code here and then you save it that's all once you did it if you add it this now and there is no problem with your php code then you will see this theme also started supporting post formats see and now if you go to theme editor then you will see that functions.php now listed even in the theme that by default did not provided you themes.functions.php so i'll click on it and now you can see the code that you paste here is available here as well so you no longer need to go to your ftp simply edit this code from functions.php so i just want support for video nothing else i don't want a image i don't want a site so i'll delete all of this i will delete the code link and all of this too remember you should not delete the bracket and that's all i will now update the file so till now it was supporting all formats but since now i have deleted if i refresh this page now you will see only standard and video standard is there by default you cannot remove it 
Now video and standard are only two formats which are available. So this is how you can enable any post format in your theme, WordPress theme, even when it's not provided. It's very easy. Now, I have made some changes in 2023 theme. What if I'll update it? Obviously, WordPress will release the update of it very soon. So I will update it. When I'll update it, what will happen? The changes that I made on functions.php file will be overridden by WordPress. That is why it's not recommended to make the changes in functions.php file directly. Instead, always create a child theme so that the changes that you are making are in the child theme. If you do not know how to make child theme for your uh, WordPress themes, then I will cover that in one of my videos later. You just subscribe this channel so you don't miss out any important information about WordPress development. Thank you very much.